It's Tuesday the 19th of January 2016 and I'm back in Saxted for a further section of Harcum Low Way and here's a picture of the Guild Hall in Thaxted which I didn't photograph last time I was here. And there's a view of the magnificent church in Thaxted. And there's a great view of the windmill in Thaxted. I'm now on Harcum Low Way. And as you can see, it's quite cold and frosty today. And down there is the route of Harcum Low Way. And there's a good view looking back to the windmill and church at Thaxted. We now come to the B1051 main road where the walk turns left for about 50 yards. Harkham Low Way turns right off the road across this footbridge. The frosty view further on along the path. At least it's frozen the mud. And there's another walker out on this frosty day. She told me it was much better conditions underfoot. Well, I suppose it's true, because it's frozen the mud. And this is the way ahead, going beside the River Chelmer. And there's a view of the infant River Chelmer. Further on we ignore this bridge across the river, Harkham Low Way carries straight on. Quite a beautiful stretch of the Chelmer here. Heading across this field, still beside the river Chelmer. At the end of the field in the last clip, the walk crosses this bridge and style. Now at the road at Folly Mill, Harkham Low Way crosses straight over to the footpath and style ahead. Beyond Folly Mill, Harkham Low Way continues beside the River Chelmer. A beautiful frosty winter scene. Still on Harkham Low Way by the Chelmer. Very peaceful and pleasant. This path by the River Chelmer. Another great view along this path. Harkham Low Way now goes through this gap on the right and then bears left. After the gap in the last clip, we're back beside the river. Now approaching the outskirts of the village of Dutton Hill on Harcum Low Way. Now at the road at Dutton Hill Bridge. Harcum Low Way turns right along this road to the T junction ahead. At the T junction Harcum Low Way heads along the track ahead, slightly left to the left along there. The path follows the stream on the left. This is not the River Chelmer now. At the edge of a wood, Harkham Low Way bears left over the stream. 
Once across the stream, Huckham Low Way continues ahead. Huckham Low Way now bears left through this gate. Now looking at the site of Tilty Abbey, which was a Cistercian Abbey. And there are the remains of Tilty Abbey, the Cistercian Abbey. And there's a view ahead to Tilty Church. A further view of Tilty Church. Harkham No Way passes to the left of this. At this road with great views over to the left and ahead, Harkham No Way turns right. Harkham Low Way now turns left off the road along this path. Along the path there are great views that open up over a valley. That's the path. Down to cross a stream. After crossing the stream, the path goes uphill. The frozen ground is starting to thaw slightly, so mud is starting to stick, especially as this seems to be a trackless, or virtually trackless, across open fields. After the uphill section, views open up again ahead. The ground is definitely softening. At this point, Huckham Low Way turns right for about 150 yards up there. Now Harkham Low Way turns left to resume the forward southerly direction. We now come to this road cross slightly to the left and take the style you can see. The path turns out to be quite scruffy, fortunately it's quite short and we should get to another road shortly. We cross this stream and then go uphill beside a hedge on the left. Here's the other road I mentioned and Harkham Low Way turns right along this. Good view over to my right from the road. Still following this narrow road. At this point where the road turns right, Huckham Low Way continues ahead along this green track. The wide track follows a ditch on the right. The roaring noise in the distance are aeroplanes at Stansted Airport, which is nearby. Further on, there's a wood on the right. At the end of the wood, the path continues across this field. At least it's a very clear path ahead. At the end of the field in the last clip, the path continues along this green lane. Continuing along the green lane with the roar of Stansted Airport in the background. Still on Harkham Low Way, of course. Now crossing the river roading, there's a, a waterfall. Seems to be mostly obscured by the trees, though. 
the path actually crosses the river roading by this ford next to the waterfall. The green lane ends and the path continues beside this hedge on the left. Approaching the road at Bambers Green, the path becomes hedged. Quite wet as well. Now at Bambers Green, Harkham Low Way turns right and then bears left along that road there. Now following the road out of Bambers Green towards the main A120 road. Now crossing the main A120 road. After crossing the A120, Harcombe Low Way turns right along this footpath which goes beside the A120 for a while. It turns right off the smaller road that we were following and it goes down those steps. Now heading along the path beside the A120. Nearly at the end of this appalling path beside the A120. This part is fairly clear but slippery, but some of it's very overgrown. And now steps up to the next road. I'm very pleased that's over. Arkham Low Way crosses the road and takes steps down the other side. Now heading along this track. Now passing the church at Takeley. Yes, we're at approaching the end of the walk in Takeley. Beyond the church, the walk heads along this lane. We now come to the main road in Takeley where Harkham Low Way turns left. Harkham Low Way turns right off the main road along that footpath, but I'm heading further down the main road for the bus. The bus came straight away, so this is the end of today's walk along Harkham Low Way.